Oh sure, you know, they call me the creature teacher, I love animals, but I don't have all these answers here. We get other people to come in and tell us and share and, and help me to be a learner with them. And if you're talking about migratory birds, why not call on an expert from the Smithsonian? Um, learning about birds in the classroom um, allows for some um, repetition, some reinforcement, some deeper learning. Um, so I think that's what's most important. Working with teachers, we're able to provide them with tools that they can use to, um, to use the birds as a theme for teaching a number of different subject areas. One of the components of true service learning is that it's integrated into your curriculum. We also are studying this year uh, habitats, and we're really looking at this habitat outside our window view. It's part of our writing, it's part of math. I mean, the ruby-throated hummingbird weighs less than a penny. What does that mean? You know, we find all these statistics all the time. Christine's class has had visitors from the National Zoo twice this year already. At the last visit, students learned the how and why of bird banding from zoo scientists. Today, they're learning about the physiology of flight through a fun exercise of turning a second grader into a bird. Half here is a, it's a mammal bone. It's from a deer. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to put one in each hand and tell me if there's a difference in how they feel. This one feels heavier and this one feels lighter. Exactly. Thank you very much. The Migratory Bird Project clearly demonstrates student achievement goal three, responsibility to the community. It's also something where they find ownership. The kids feel that they own this um, study and they leave here, they look for birds. It very much is integrated in our day. It comes up in all different ways for us. The class is partnered with a school in Nicaragua this year. Miss Payak's class is compiling bird puppets with bird facts, bird research papers, puzzles, and other kid-friendly items. These are translated into Spanish and will be put into a packet to ship to the partner school. They'll get ours by the first of the year and then in April or May we get this packet, we open it together, it's very exciting. And we learn about their class. Last year the picture of the kids and their school, my kids were just, why does the school look like that? And people are writing on the building. I mean, it was really interesting. We want them to um, uh, be aware that there are other countries that where these birds go and that these birds are something that we share in common with the people there. So it's a neat segue into learning about another country and its culture. For School Scene, I'm Sharon Sobel.